Uh, hello guys today i'm going to show you my favorite website is yahoo finance which helps uh, i use this a lot to quickly browse uh, the shares information or the stock information so while i was doing the uh, stock basic series i thought why not just give you the tutorials on how and which sections there are a lot of information there a lot of tabs there which tabs i'll go what to use and i'll i'll show you that so if you like it stay tuned and then we'll go on each sections and i'll highlight what each sections uh, the information unfolds okay so if you're new to the channel kindly don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe in my channel uh, i'll put a lot of fundamental analysis mostly on go deeper into the financial statement 10k and others uh, 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 informations uh, available and try to form the opinion on the long term perspective of the stocks okay so let's get started so just type the yahoo finance on google and you will get this page okay so and if you type any ticker name for example msft right so which is the microsoft ticker name uh, you will get this uh, you will get this page right which is the or you can type even the company name for example if i'm typing the micro soft you see it's automatically find out that the very first one for example if i want to type google if i don't remember uh, uh, which is the alphabet right uh, then it says okay this is the the stocks you have or netflix right another good one so that's how it is so today i'm going to cover the uh, using the microsoft information and i already have done the very deep fundamental analysis on the microsoft uh, stocks on my channel if you want you can i'll try to put a link you can uh, go and watch that as well okay so let's get started so the very first one when you type any ticker name this page will come right and in this page you see first information is the uh, the micro the, the full name of the company and this ticker information right msft msft is nothing just a tag uh, or the alphanumerical symbols uh, provided uh, to each company so this is unique for each company right so that's and on the summary page basically it provides the key highlight so on the first basically it says okay right now the uh, the share price at moment is market is closed and the share as you can see four o'clock but the share price at is the us dollar is 204 dollars and 70 cents and then we have some open price uh, how the and the previous close it's this is the important information okay uh, the day range in today's the share price uh, basically go uh, below as as two dollar one cents to the two dollar one two hundred one dot sorry <laughs> two hundred one dot seventy seven cents to two hundred six dollar dot thirty five cents right and fifty two weeks range is basically we know fifty two week is one full year so in this year microsoft already have jumped from one hundred thirty dollar seventy eight cents to two hundred and six dollar and thirty five cents right the p e ratio which uh, i have you know this is a price over earning ratio i have full video on my channel as well to explain what pe ratio is and how to compute and how to analyze the pe ratio this is way higher is 34 and the earning per share which basically which says is earning per share is six dollars so for every one share microsoft is generating six dollars uh, earning date when they announced the uh, the earnings so it's uh, 16th of july to 20th of july dividend yield so dividend yield is how much dividend you are expecting based on the current price so that's coming as two percent two oh only sorry one percent right which and dividend is and this is a forward uh, dividend which uh, they're expecting okay and the one year target estimate is seems like is is only uh, two dollar and three cents okay so that's a uh, high level the second um, one which the tab which i all mostly you will find on my channel is the chart on the chart basically i try to click on the max or five year range depend how and try to see the flow right how the flow is comes so you can also select here whether a minute which basically the trader choose i mostly go for a, a daily chart to see the volatility because if you if you select the monthly it's will come up as a smooth let me show it to you 
or yearly right so if i go monthly you see the the whole volatility is gone so i just want to see how the stocks behavior the more higher i go it's like a more smooth curve will come uh, which i just so I want to see on the day to day basis, right? So that's on the chart. We have certain indicators on technical side uh, that you can uh, you can add. The next important tab, which I usually go and see is the stats tab. In the stats tab, there is some measures there, uh, like uh, for example, what's the profit margins, return on equity and, and so on. So you can go and uh, look into that. There is a lot of historical data as well. You, the daily market prices you can go and download that the profile basically it's tell about the microsoft where the company is website what sector it is how many employees it has the ceo who is the ceo at moment we know mr satya uh, nadella is the ceo who is the chief of uh, finance officer and so on right uh, usually i don't come here much but and the financial right so financial life Although it gives here, but some I find most of the time, uh, not I, I don't have to say most, but I don't rely on these a lot because sometimes they have some error, and this is like a pub. Uh, so I usually go to the the company website and or the SEC website and grab it. The next one is, uh, yeah, it has the income statement, right? You can see the income statement, the balance sheet, and the balance sheet where it shows the all the assets i have on my channel the video if you don't know how to analyze the uh, income statement balance sheet uh, and cash flow and even the ratio so that videos are there and the cash flow statements are here as well right we can have annually and quarterly the, these are like an analyst estimate so many analysts are following that they can see okay what is the expected revenue and earning options are there i don't usually go there uh, this is more on the trading and uh, this is even good so holders so who's holding that how many institutions are holding so as you can see the 74 percent of shares held by the institution that's a huge number of shares right hold by the institution and these are like top of uh, the institution holder who hold these shares and these are the mutual funds like s p 500 uh, recently i did a video right uh, on the etfs where i uh, list some uh, ETFs, which is Spider. I think this is SPY, Vanguard, and and all right. Where I listed that, which are the dividend, gold, and other ETFs. So you can uh, check out there if you want. So this is pretty much uh, the, all the Yahoo. You can see the lot of uh, uh, good information is there, right? And then that's how this stock and ta uh, tables are read and uh, that's pretty much on uh, this video hopefully i'm not go going too fast if you i'm going too fast sorry about that you can uh, play on the uh, youtube on the slower mode but that's it i think i didn't cover the market cap yeah market cap is right now it's the 1.55 trillion basically it's telling if you want to go and buy the microsoft company this is this much is you need to pay to to get that right so that's a total market value of the company okay so that's about it so if you want me to cover any others uh, so usually you can check on my if you like it please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and there are other videos are there as well if you like this video and you want me to cover any other basic video or any stocks which you like i have a whole list of stocks uh, covered from the uh, investment uh, long-term investment perspective but if you still uh, didn't find on my list please put in the comment and i will put in my list okay thanks for watching hopefully you give already give the thumbs up for now and bye for now